What's up everyone? I'm your female Taku and I'm going to review episode 17 of Assassination Classroom. And just... Oh, it was so good to see Karma go insane again. It's been too long. It's been oh so long since I've seen the inner psychoness of Karma. That, that was great. That was beautiful. That's why I fell in love with him in the first place when he made that crazy stare with his introduction in episode 3 of season 1. Oh, it was so good. It was... Uh... <laughs> okay, so... Karma! I'm so glad he had so much screen time within this episode because Karma and Nagisa fought. Okay, now of course we have the cliffhanger where they're gonna finish off like the, the, the real fight with the paintball thing, but in the beginning... Karma was all like, no, what are you talking about? We gotta kill Koro Sensei. This is what we've been training for. And then the geese is all like, no, he's a good man. We gotta save him. And so the whole E class is a little split on whether or not to kill or to save Koro Sensei. But Karma, he got really mad because Nagisa wasn't saying how, like, you know, he is the best out of all of them. Nagisa was kind of like being modest about it. And that really pissed off Karma. No, that's what he did his really insane face. Oh, fangirling for later, fangirling for later. But, uh, and then they fought, and Karma is really strong. Okay, like, even though Nagisa had the skills, Karma still had the strength. And then they broke up the fight, and Kuro Sensei came in, and he's just all like, okay, why don't we solve this with assassination tactics? Red versus blue, okay? We're gonna have a paintball match. Blue if you want to save me, and red if you want to kill me. Whichever team wins, that will be the final decision for E-Class. So, then we have this really awesome paintball match. It was so cool. I love seeing E-Class go totally all out on each other. It was awesome to see how they improved on their skills. Karma back there giving everyone orders. Oh, it was so awesome. I, I really enjoyed that episode. It was totally epic. It really was. It's all the tactics and the strategizing and everything. Oh, it was intense. And then we have in the end where Nagisa takes out like four of them all at once. And it was like, Nagisa, you are deadly. <laughs> Nagisa, man. And then we just see that's going to be Karma versus Nagisa. And they're already a little mad at each other. So now they're going to really go in with their assassination tactics. So it's just like, oh, this is going to be so hype, man. Oh, why do you have to end the episode like that? I did not expect that. I thought we were gonna end the episode with them fighting, but no, we got a cliffhanger, and I'm like, why? Oh. <laughs> so, most likely how the outcome is gonna be is that, you know, the geese is gonna win, and I'm gonna be sad, because Karma's my husband, no, and he looks so attractive this episode, oh my gosh. <sighs> but yeah, still can't wait to see how their battle is gonna be. And yeah, that, that, that's really not, that, that's all there is to say about this episode. Pretty straightforward, nothing deep or anything. And you know, it was great to see all of E-Class and what they've learned thus far. And yeah, just an overall awesome, exciting episode. All I gotta say, really, nothing much else. Uh, why don't I show you guys my calendar? Today is just full of karma, isn't it? Just you saw that calendar, just karma and his chest and everything. Oh my gosh, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Okay, uh, so catch you later as I review Kabaneri. I'm your female otaku, Sayonara.